Yo, what's going on guys, Foxman here. Today we have a 12,800 gold budget and tomorrow it doubles. I'm excited to see what kind of gear we can get going with this amount of gold, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off with a legendary spell book with three healing and max health for 789 gold. Honestly, pretty cheap. But I'm gonna grab this, wait. Yeah, we're gonna grab this Mystic Vestments with two Agi and three healing for 666. This is unbelievably cheap. I honestly don't mind Warlock Torture Mastery, the state that it's in, just because of how cheap the gear is. Like, this is crazy. But I'm gonna grab these Leather Chastises with basically six max health and then one match power as well. And we're gonna grab these Ruby Rawhides with two Agi, two max health. They're at 9.99. Pretty good value, actually. Then we're going to pick up this Occultist Hood with 2 Vigor and 1 True Magical Damage. It's a good deal. And then we're going to grab these insane Legendary Light Puts uh, with Max Health, Max Health Bonus, and Magical Damage Bonus for $12.99. Those should make us pretty fast. Yeah, okay, 312 move speed. If we get a Cloak of Darkness with that, that's going to speed us up even more. And these Cloaks of Darkness are very expensive, but we are going to drop 2.4k on a max move speed one with one additional magical damage. That brings our move speed up to 316, which is pretty good. We're going to grab this Grim Smile with two healing, one tree magic damage, spell casting speed, and magical damage reduction. Eight, only 800 gold, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna grab another Grim Smile with two healing, one true, this time with max health bonus and magic penetration for 1300. Finish off the build, we're gonna be grabbing a legendary Phoenix Choker with three magical healing. That is going to make us deal a ton of extra damage. We still have a thousand gold for our secondaries, so let's take a look at some options. Cheapest Chris with weapon damage and max health is 440, so we will grab that. And then we can get a heater as well with hopefully the same rolls. I think actually armor rating is pretty good, but I'm not stacking armor rating. Can I get all three? No shot. <laughs> all right, we will go for this and then maybe we can grab like some protection potions, which probably I would have bought anyways because um the budget is more for the kit but yeah this is a pretty insane kit we have 142 health 148 with the book out we have 24 knowledge 316 move speed 15 magical healing and 18 magical healing with the book out um as well as our magic power bonus is almost 50 percent and we have a legendary phoenix choker on top of additional and true in every slot so this is a pretty crazy build. I'm excited to get in there and see what we can do. All right, we've got a full lobby, so let's see what we can do. I did bring the Hellfire this game because I just got tired of not being able to open doors. And with Life Drain, uh, a lot of people get away from you, like you can't really run them down. And also, it's good for escapes, and also just finding more PvP, more fights. Looks like somebody spawned here. So the doors are open. I don't really want- oh shit. Is he up top? He is up top. Ranger, and he went straight up top off spawn. Interesting. The okay, Rangers are a very hard matchup for us. Definitely died to my fair share of Rangers. Shit. We can definitely kill them too. We just gotta get in range. It's not really a great room to fight Rangers in. The, the prison, but... Okay, we might have to break like these spider pots. We're gonna be running back and forth between that room and like over here. He's probably gonna get traps down. I 
thought I heard footsteps. Got an army of blood bags, hold on. Might be up to no good here. Oh. I'm indeed up to no good, but it's me that is the one who is in trouble. So it turns out, um, bringing a pack of spiders with you is not the best idea that I've ever had. We are alive. It's just fully dripped out in like cobalt and shit. I'm gonna have to do a little lappy on this guy. A little lap ski. He might have died to the mobs and the dots that I had on him. Not sure. That's what I'm hoping. He did, he did. Nice, we got him. That's huge. Yeah, I was gonna say, I left him in a bad position right there. <laughs> Answer this guy had. Man, the Rangers are out today. Ooh, nice. Nice, yeah, he had some stoof. Alright, not bad, not bad. We will definitely take it. And then he had a winless. I don't know how easily winless is so. But I'm definitely happy with that. This was a completely full lobby though, so I'm sure there's going to be other gamers. Mm, let's head towards middle, I think. I was probably where we're more likely to find more people. Somebody just shot at me. It's a different ranger. All right, this guy's dying, bro. Ow. Okay, never mind, never mind. Please don't hurt me. How is that a different guy? You're telling me he's just been up there the whole game? This might be like, okay, this actually is a very bad idea. This is not a good push, what I'm about to do. But, I don't know, we can't just let that guy live up there. If I had Dark Bolt, it'd be a little bit better. I could bolt him infinitely. Um, okay, we're just gonna prop pot and hope for the best here. Gotta make sure we don't step in a trap. There's trap up at the top. Bro's getting active.
We've lured him away from his traps, maybe, but he also might go back. I think he's gone back. He picked up my torch too, that's crazy. I can't see him. That's unfortunate, man. Ah, uh, there's not much I could do if he's playing like this. If he's only gonna take the high ground and fight me where I literally cannot see him, it's pitch black up there and he knows it. Unfortunately, when I do a Hydra heal combo, I only heal like 10 health back. This is the one game where like Drain actually would have been pretty good against a ranger like this. I guess some bandages. Not many bandages, but some. I already know this is like not smart going into it, so I won't be mad if I die, but... Yeah, there's another Warlock. I think he's on Cyclops. They're shooting hellfires or something. I have to keep pulling the torch out and then this guy just gets free shots on me. That could otherwise step in a trap. Holy shit, man. Just cha just fight me out here, man. Just like, <laughs> it's just the same thing over and over. <laughs> Now I have to heal up again. It's like an impossible push for an actual impossible. Now then I'm just gonna go for it. Nah, no, he's all the way back up again. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust that I won't step in a trap here. Oh! The one time. The one time I don't bring out a torch. I'm so lucky. Because the only way to push him would be without like having my torch out the entire time. Nice, we got him. Holy shit. Finally. I looked like he had Brave Hunters on too. It was actually huge. Hopefully he had a lot of best for the way that he was playing bot. Super safe. Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah, I had some good shit. Dreadhood and Spear of Rot. Okay, I think we dropped the longbow. It doesn't have weapon damage. Grab the Spear of Rot for sure. Damn, I don't know. I want these wolf hunters, but I don't know what to drop for them. I think I just drop a bunch of heals here. We get the wolf hunters. Everything else is pretty good. He's like max fizz power. I don't know if Dreadhoods sell. For how much I don't know. These are double rolled. These are good, but they're in a move speed, so I'm gonna drop them. But get the Dreadhood. These are also good. It's all pretty good. I, the problem is I don't know what's better for like Ranger Gear. Uh, or at least I don't know what like what's more expensive. We got most of the good shit. We got portals right here, so I think we just bounce and run it back for uh, game number two. <clears throat> All right, we are in. Trying something new today in solos, because I've been doing this in trios, but I've been taking life drain over hellfire. Um, because I feel like you kind of need to now with torture mastery. Even if you have a lot of healing, like I think I have 18 right now, but even though I have 18 healing off of a full Hydra heal combo, I'm only getting like 14 health back, which is not the best. So, 
But yeah, I'm excited to see who's in this lobby because I did not get to inspect at all. It just kind of instant started. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here just to get this open at a distance so I can close and walk through. I don't want the mobs coming. And I can't hellfire doors, so normally I probably would have just hellfired. Gotta do things a little bit different. We didn't make our way to the middle. I think there's somebody on the store actually. Yeah, like a ranger put a trap down. We're after protection pot then. Really watch out for traps here. Oh, he stepped in his own trap. That is unfortunate for him. Oh no. I feel like I've definitely done that before, so I can sympathize. Let's see what he had though. That is tragic. Ooh, purple serve bow. Ooh, legendary life foots, not bad. But he had a little bit of stuff for me. Not bad, not bad. Definitely gonna try and look for some more fights though, see if there's anybody else in the lobby. Might have some gear for us. I mean, this lobby was full, so I do expect Okay, actually, we're gonna leave some of these goblins up in case we need to blood bag them. We're doing quite a bit of damage right now. I think we're doing 27 damage curse of pain with this kit. Which, honestly, since the nerf, that's like the most I've had. Mostly because of the choker. It's just absolutely crazy. I've been running like neck of pieces usually. Okay, wait, this door is open. Where's this guy coming from and why? Whoever opened this door, I don't know which way they went. Oh, I think I'm gonna head towards prison. Why don't you just keep flame lock up? Okay, yeah, dead mobs here. That one might have died to the trap though. Yeah, this one's still up. We don't have. Hellfire, so we need to actually bait the mob. We can open. Yeah, this mob's not dead either. Hmm. Dead mob's in here. See, okay. Also went this way. And then maybe down for Cyclops. We'll take a peek. Oh shit. Ranger above us.
Hydra hit him. Okay, the forceful shot is actually insane. He's got boxed up as well. Wait, no, he doesn't. He is fast. Holy shit. Gotta watch out for traps too. There's one right there. Nice, we got him. Survival bow rangers are very hard for Warlock. Holy shit. It's like your biggest counter. But we got two of them. I mean, they both... <laughs> Iron unironically, they both got hit by a trap. Holy shit. This guy had good stuff in his bag too. Did he kill someone else? Holy shit. This guy had some juice for us. We'll drop these gloves. We'll get the pants. Put the action speed on them. These are really good. Wow, these are really good too. That's absolutely massive. They're gonna have to drop some heals, I think. This has action speed on it. At first, the first thing I noticed was the mag heal. But this is all really good. Okay, this servo is like way better. So we're gonna take this one. The spear will definitely pay. I think we have to drop this cloak. Um, and then we get the spear. And then we get the... Oh, it sucks. I have to drop all my heals. But we don't need a singular lockpick. We get the hood. That's such a good cape. I'm wondering who he killed to get this other stuff. I don't really think I have room for the cape. It's not that crazy, but it is pretty good. I just don't know what I would drop for it. I think we're set here, though. Maybe these gloves are not insane, but wouldn't be enough room. I could drop this. Um, I don't need these. We drop one more set of heals. Oof. Okay, then we're gonna have to Jenga a little bit. There's a spot right here. The boots, and then we take the cape. That's true match damage and max health bonus. Really good. Alright, we've got a completely full bag now. Still gotta watch out for traps. Oh. I just spotted a barbarian. Oh, I punched the wall. That's actually terrible. We should be good here. He's kind of close, but I don't think he's too fast, so we're chilling. Why do I feel like he's doing some sleeper build with no cape? Because uh, he knew about this jump. Uh, I feel like he actually knows how to play the game. It looks like he's doing like some type of budget build or something. Okay, he's gone. We've got a full bag anyways, so we kind of just want to dip ski. Our Baron would take us a while to kill. I mean, I'm down though. Oh, I thought he was going to hit that. He's definitely going to hit it. Unless he's just trying to use it to bait me. Block him out? Uh, probably wouldn't work anyways, it's too odd. Yeah, okay. Probably we'll be taking an elevator here in a sec. There's still probably people, so you gotta be a little careful. Someone told me that once one gate opens on the, this map, like once one of the blues open, they all open. And I don't know if that's true, but I kind of want to test it. Uh, elevator's already here, so fuck it. We get out with all this gear and run it back. 
Actually, a really nice ranger kit. I had legendary urges. These frost amulets are really expensive too, similar to the chokers. So you can just get three true fizz that way. But yeah, it was a pretty solid run. As always, I really do appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.